Good afternoon. I am humbled to be here as a representative from the Seven Seas Union. Thank you, President and Ministers, for being here with us in this afternoon. I am honored to address the topic for this important forum today. Through this forum, several of our prominent allies will discuss and exchange information. And from this, we are hoping the future economic partners and allies and the forum. SSU will be delighted to support our buyers and sellers for this matter. The sellers today are Germany, South Korea, and United States. The buyers today are China, Egypt, and United Kingdom. The first speaker to introduce their commodities will be China. Good afternoon, fellow country leaders. I am the leader of the People's Republic of China, Xi Jinping. Today, I am here to represent our manufacturers to make deals with other countries in this forum. Over the past several decades, Chinese trade has expanded at a breakneck pace, and it is now the largest export economy in the world. Furthermore, China is often referred to as the world's factory given its huge manufacturing and export base, flourishing, thriving day by day. Now, Egypt, if you will please. Good afternoon, fellow leaders. I am Tahir Nazar, Minister of Trade of our Republic of Egypt. I am honored to be here and trade our products with other countries through this forum. Our country, Egypt, has struggled economically until recent times. However, Egypt is rapidly developing and has a fast growing economy. We have fought with you in the world wars and we have fought for our own independence. As a prominent trading country, Egypt's participation in this forum is vital for the event's success. The next speaker to introduce himself will be the Prime Minister of Germany. Good afternoon, fellow leaders. I'm Angela Merkel, the Prime Minister of the Federal Republic of Germany. We, Germany, achieved the miraculous revival after the mass economic collapse. We are leading the global trading market by cutting edge automobile, electronics, machinery, and chemical technology. We especially have strong automobile technology and is the top exporter in the world. The next speaker will be the President of South Korea. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Moon Jae-in, the President of Republic of Korea, and I am honored to be with you with today at this place, the World Trade Forum. I hope that it will bring an opportunity to promote our country's industrial, industrial technology and further develop our industry by adopting excellent technologies from other countries. Now, I would like to introduce you, the Prime Minister of United Kingdom. Good evening. Kingdom. I'm David Cameron, the Prime Minister of Great Britain. It is my honor to be here with the representatives of other nations. Since before the times of empires, Great Britain has always been trading with other countries, such as those here today. We have a population of over 65 million people with a strong, highly developed, and market-oriented economic position, which allows us to have a strong relationship with other nations. President Trump, if you'd like to inform us your motivation. I'm the leader of the United States of America, Donald Trump. In 2008, we have released our one of the most famous car brand called Tesla. And we have improved a lot on exporting cars to other countries. In 2017, we have exported $48.7 billion to South Korea 61.6 .6 billion dollars to Germany. I'm proposing a deal of exporting 500,000 cars annually to People's Republic of China. China is a country where the large amount of money is actively exchanged and where German cars are popular among the rich community. Luxurious and fancy German cars are loved in Chinese automotive market and they have been spread all over the Chinese Thank you, market. Germany. President Trump will now state his intentions. We United States have exported 250,000 cars to China in 2018. But in this forum, we are proposing to increase the amount of automobiles that we're intending to sell. We are quite certain 
that the product we exported to you last year was not meeting your expectation, lacking in numbers. I'm considering to sell 100,000 cars to as well as Egypt. I judge that Egypt is one of the major developing countries and it has infinite possibility of development, which is based on tremendous amount of resource reserve. I also ask Egypt government to lower custom duties for Present women will now offer her business. Because after all, most of our crude petroleum trade is achieved with Egypt. So we are thinking that since we are doing business each other, we'd like to import $10 billion crude oil Thank from you. Egypt. Minister Merkel would also like to express his intentions to the United States. We, Germany, are also wanting to make a bargain of 600,000 cars in the United States of America. As the U.S. is the strongest economy in the world, I believe many U.S. citizens are willing to purchase our elegant From 2008 cars. to 2018, we sold $7.4 billion amount of military goods to South Korea, which makes the fourth largest military export dealer. We would like to send additional 30,000 soldiers to your country and $700 million worth of military weapons to your country. Thank you, President Trump. The buyers will now proclaim their counter offers. The first to speak will be President Xi. In the past, China's economy has been growing at a significant speed, starting with hard labors and remarkable improvements created by our own citizens. We were able to develop in a whole new country with so much better environment and technology. First, America. I appreciate your offer, but in this current situation, we need to relook our numbers. Our original intentions were to purchase 400K cars, but we have decided to increase the number to 470,000 cars. Consequently, we will arrange to have broadcasting equipment sent out. I hope both of us will be satisfied with this deal. Next, Germany and China have developed good training policies over time and have worked excellently on economic programs that have benefited both countries. Thank you, President Xi. The Prime Minister of Egypt will now respond to the previous proposals from the exporting countries. Egypt and South Korea have been trading partners for past decades and I'm pleased to build a purchasing deal with you for once again. Oil has been 87% of Saudi Arabia's exports to South Korea, and I expect to sell $10 billion worth of oil. Lastly, I appreciate your offer, but I refuse to deal with United States, since Egypt is not in the need of automobiles in this period. I sincerely hope that you are not offended by our decision. But we are still looking forward to make other negotiations in the next international trading forum. Thank you. Minister Cameron will be the last to announce his counter offers. First, we thank you for your generous offer, South Korea. I decided to accept your offer since I see many people with different walks of life in the United Kingdom need economic cars. As a counter offer of importing 300,000 cars, I request South Korea to import 100,000 luxury cars and $50,000 of medical supplies from us. I hope there will be a brisk trade in the future. We have the always deal. been constructive trading partners with Germany, and we wish that the relationship will be endless. Finally, for the United States, one of our closest trading partners has chosen not to import from us, nor to export to Great Britain at the moment. We and the United States have a fine relationship, however, we are all thinking of delaying our trades for the next time. President Moon will now respond to the offer from President Trump. Thank you so much, USA. We appreciate your amazing proposal. However, despite the South Korean and American relationship, after reviewing the SAC proposal, our conclusion is that $700 million of military goods are abundant for South Korea. I understand your position, South Korea. I know that your country have bought a lot of military goods from our country. We will sell $300 million worth of military goods and we will buy 450,000 
cars from your country? For our firms, we'll be re-examining the trade and manufacturing of electronic cars and other means of sustainable and renewable resources. I hope that this forum will fulfill its purpose and increase the quality of our world, thus reinforcing our connection with each other. The forum is now ended. Thank you, honorable members, for your participation.